Hi, it's Danny D, and today I'm going to be talking to you about how to install your black art board on your SB1, Vibe, NV, or G1. Now, this is the black art board for the SP1, and it only comes with er, it comes with the uh, eye milled breech and the board and a QEV. But the one for the um, for the G1 and the NV, they only come with the board, no QEV no eye milled breech and they don't come with the eye milled breech because the NV and G1 already have eye milled breeches in them. So uh, I'm going to bring the camera in and we're going to start disassembling this sucker. This is an SP1 but um, basically everything else I just mentioned, the G1, the NV, the Vibe, they all disassemble the exact same way. Uh, there's just minor differences but installation is exactly the same. So we'll bring it in now. Taking off, taking off the front uh, rail for the SP1 again with the NV or the the, uh, the Vibe you don't need to do this step and also you go, can go ahead and take off your back plate here again the Vibe and NV do not need to do these steps um, what else you have to do is you can decide if you want to take the ASA off or not but um, you'll want to take off the grip frame screws here. Sorry, the um, yeah, grip the grip screws. And you'll want to take out your battery if you are, haven't already. Uh, keep this keep this open because you'll want to have to thread the uh, power cable through back uh, back through once uh, you replace your board. So we'll keep those aside. Again, if you want to take off your ASA, you can do that if you want. I just prefer keeping it like this. And then you want to take off um, your regulator here. Now, there's a swivel base to to uh, to all of these, so all you have to do is just, just twist. Again, it's the same thing for the Vibe or the Envy. All right, done. Uh, watch out, there's a screen over here. You just want to set that aside and remember to put it back afterwards. And next, you'll want to take off your grip frame. And I already pre loosened these screws, but uh, you just unscrew the front and the back. And let's just check if this is loose here. Yeah. Alright. And that should just come right off. Again, be careful of the the wire here, and also be careful of the power button. You'll see it right here, and this will fall out. I like to keep it down so that it just sits in place. And I'm gonna put this aside. Now I already have the black heart installed over here, but um, we're gonna take it all apart, and we're gonna pretend to replace it with the uh, stock board here. I'll just show you the different procedures. It's essentially the same. Alright, so first thing you'll want to do is take off this uh, ASA adapter here. So you get the get um, normal size uh, Allen, Allen key that you use for the grip frame screws here and here. And you go off on the top um, with the NV, there'll be something similar to this, where it's going to be just over here. This is an Ion XC, by the way. Basically the same, uh, same marker, it's a different, in, different board. So you just screw it, you'll feel it coming loose. And then when it's free, it just comes right apart, just like that. Again, there's going to be a screw in here. Keep the screw, set it aside. And next thing you'll want to do is um, take off the banjo bolts. I've got a, um, a black card in here already. So I'm going to take off the eyes. Uh, I just need to grab some pliers for this. And why you need pliers? Because, well, close up here, um, as you can see over here, the, um, 
eye wire harness. You don't want to pull by the wires, you want to pull by the base. So you just pull that right out. Again, uh, if you're just installing your black heart board, it won't, um, or your stock board won't have the eye, uh, the eye connectors here, so you won't have to worry about that. But just in case you need to do maintenance or replacement work, that's what you do. I just put a piece of tape over here to make sure the eye wires don't get pinched. But um, <clears throat> all right, let's do this. We'll pretend this is the stock board. This stock board is uh, pretty much the same in terms of uh, where banjo bolts are and that sort of thing. So these are the two banjo bolts: the, bolts, the rear banjo bolt and the uh, front banjo bolt. This is a stock board, black heart board. You can see because it's black, black heart. And uh, you'll just want to take off the banjo bolts. This is actually a QEV, and we'll talk about QEVs later at the end. But uh, for now, we'll just uh, replace things. So, alright, just let her loose. Alright. So that comes off. Now you got the vertical ASA uh, adapter here, and this is attached to, let's say this is the stock board, and you want to put the other board in, and you can see the ends. It just screws in in the end right over here. All you have to do is grab a pair of pliers, hold it, and turn it like this, and comes right off. Now you'll see a little seal here and you'll want to keep your seal right over here. Now you, now you keep this and then you put it uh, whatever board you want in there, whether it be stock or black heart board. Bam, see now you got the stock board in there. You can screw that in there. But uh, I'm going to keep the black heart board in. So we are going to screw in the black heart board right in there. Alright. Alright, you'll want to tighten it up again using your your pliers as you can see here. Tightening her up. It's nice and snug. No need to go too tight. You'll, you'll strip the threads. And there we go. It doesn't matter if it doesn't line up too much. Uh, the barb fittings, the um, the hose can just uh, swivel on that, and then you just line her up and uh, screw her back in. Now, <clears throat> this is if you have an MV or G1. Um, <clears throat> you al already have an eye milled breech in there. If you have a SP1 or Vibe, you won't have an eye milled breech in. Right in here, you'll have um, already a breech that that doesn't have any milling whatsoever for the eyes. So what you'll want to do is replace it with the breech that it comes with. Again, if uh, you don't have to replace any breech with the G1 or NV because it's already milled for you, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, <clears throat> but uh, you'll want to. Whether or not you do have a G1 or NV or SP1 or Vibe, you will want to put your eyes in. So we're going to do the procedures for that. There's going to be a um, breech locking device right here. Prevents the breech from shifting around. So just take out the screw here for that. There we go. See, it's just some little piece that stays uh, right over here. Just take that out. And once that's out, that locking device, you can just push, push the breech right out. There we go. All right, and that this now is when you'll want to put your eyes in. Now I already have mine in. All you do is slip them in, or if you have the um, the black heart uh, black heart board, or sorry, if you already have uh, an SP1 or Vibe, it does, this is the time when you'll want to switch your breeches up with the one that can hold the eye. Put the eye in, 
just slip it in right over here and you're good to go uh, you might have to replace the back cap because the one that came with my black cardboard did not come with a back cap you so just unscrew it put the bolt back cap right in there and uh, you're good to go again this is the breach you want uh, with the uh, with the eye the eyes milled out again with the G1 or NV you don't have to worry about that and you just slide her back in um, again this is for detents I have a special set of detents in there so you may or not may not have that again you'll want to transfer your your detents if you have the SP1 or Vibe into your uh, new breech okay so now we got to sl slid back in here and um, actually no we don't um, let's see here we gotta push it more in make sure everything lines up you got a screw over here there and two back banjos there the SP1 is kind of easy to do with the vibe you just push it all the way forward until it can't go anymore it's pretty simple and you'll want to put the breech lock back in and that goes right in the very front screw her back in all right next you'll want to put your uh, your board in again we got we just finished uh, connecting the vertical ASA adapter to the black heart board so we're going to just put that guy back in and this is the time when you'll want to screw in your banjo bolts again now you have to be very careful with this you do want to cross thread the the breech it is made of aluminum so you don't want to go too tight but you don't want to go too loose either or else it won't make a good seal if you look closely in the bottom of the banjos you'll see an o-ring over there and that's what that's what it's pressing up against the breech to make the seal so again you'll have to um, line her up what I like to do is go backwards until you can hear the click there there's the click and then I like to screw it in the right way again righty tighty lefty loosey so I first do the lefty until you hear the click of the threads going right into the uh, the valley and you screw her in and I'm gonna screw the front one in now and the front one in here with the um, stock SB1 or sort of with the SP1 and Vibe black hearts they do come stock with a um, with a QEV and I'll be talking to you about that next but um, yeah then you'll want to plug in your eye wire harness right over here I like using um, the pliers just to push your push it in again you don't want to damage the white uh, the uh, the wires at all or else you'll need to get a new harness that's more money all right I think, we sh I think she's in okay uh, let's close uh, do a little bit more close-up and I'll show you some different QEVs that you can put in uh, especially since this is a stock board you don't see any hole or anything uh, where air vents vents out from so again this is not a QEV system um, the QEV only goes on the front front banjo bolt so you replace the front banjo